take a look at this. I saw, when I was looking up this thing, I saw this and I was surprised to see it, but an exclusive interview with Gene Kelly. Take a look, and that's his picture right there, right? Awesome. And Gene Kelly, if uh, for those of you that don't know, he was one of the uh, great actors from, I guess, the golden age, right? 19, I don't know if he came, it was around 1940s, but he must have been in the 1940s because this came out in 1950, right? So I don't know if it was around 1930s, but it was around 1940s, 50s, 60s as well, I believe. And I've seen a few movies with Gene Kelly, and he's fantastic. And again, this has come up a couple of times. Now, if you've never seen black and white movies, the golden age movies from that period, for sure take the time to watch some of those movies from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, okay? There, there are some brilliant stories, brilliant films being told. And this is supposed to be a two-page interview. Let's read some of this. Let's read some of this. Okay. Exclusive interview with Gene Kelly must be done. Question. In your opinion, who is the most beautiful girl in Hollywood? Answer from Gene Kelly. The most beautiful girl in the whole world is Esther Williams. Wow, wow, wow. And that in uh, corporates physiognomy, incorporates physiognomy, figure, expression, and charm. These are words. Uh, physif in incorporates physiognomy. I don't know. These are words that are lost to me. Esther looks wholesome and dewy and in my opinion represents the typical american beauty that's cool of what personal habit are you trying to break yourself answer i'm trying to make myself go to bed earlier at night but it looks like a hopeless task question how do you feel when doing love scenes answer they aren't so different from any other deeply emotional scene you go through there is no personal feeling involved at all. The only thing that bothers me is worrying about smearing the girl's makeup. Cool. Are you an icebox raider? I have no idea what that means. Answer. But the champions of the world. But the champion of the world. I make Dagwood Lake look like a like an amateur say i wonder if it could could be those pickled cheese liver worst peanut butter sandwiches that keep me fa from falling asleep at night icebox raider that probably means uh, going to the fridge at night and having uh, midnight munchies or middle of the night munchies that's what it is cool are you a, are you a born dancer and gene kelly was an amazing dancer amazing dancer okay i wish i were wow he wasn't i wish i were then i wouldn't have cost my parents so much money for dancing lessons when i was a youngster i guess i was born with a certain talent for it because i started dancing when i was so young i don't even remember but i worked a good number of years to become a dancer and i do mean worked cool this is exactly what richard feynman uh, has said in interviews and in writings and Richard Feynman is a uh, one of the best known physicists from the United States right where he said he's never met a genius or savant or anything talent comes with hard work and Gene Kelly looks like he did a lot of hard work to dance right what is your favorite type of social dancing you'll be disappointed answer You'll be disappointed, but but here it is, the good old-fashioned waltz. Wow, it's not spectacular, and it doesn't require great ability, like the rumba or samba, for instance. But I think it's the most lyrical of all popular dancing steps. Also, do you wish you were <laughs> you were handsomer? Answer. I'll never keep Charles Boyer 
awake and I don't care no one would ever have suggested me for suggested me for Reed Butler I have a Joe average pan and that's the kind of guy I like to play on the screen do you like uh, screwy hats on women no don't, <laughs> don't say any man <laughs> What was your first professional appearance? Answer from Gene Kelly. Playing a nightclub engagement in Pittsburgh when I was when I went to college there. I had to earn some money to see me through school. After I'd taken turns at concert mixing and carpentry, the bright idea flashed through my head that I might as well put to practical use all the dancing lessons I had. I'd had how did you propose to your wife this is awesome answer I got a contract to make pictures in Hollywood and I realized I didn't want to go without Betsy so I called her from Philadelphia where I was staging a show she was then in New York and popped the $64 question of course don't think she wasn't expecting me to do it these women are always ahead of, ahead of a guy <laughs> what is the unkindest remark you have heard about yourself answer a columnist once lied about me over the radio and said I had left my wife and child wow, wow, wow. I wonder if Gene Kelly uh, stayed there with his wife with what's her name Betsy do you talk to yourself when you're alone answer constantly and I like almost everything everyone and like almost everyone else I always think of some snappy or brilliant remark which I wish I'd said but didn't very cool I like Gene Kelly even more now really let's keep on reading this what is what is the chief bone of contention at home okay. the only one i can think of is that i never eat vegetables and betsy is always trying to make me eat them and question in what way do you give into betsy answer i eat them <laughs> what performance of yours on the screen gave you the greatest thrill oh man i can't wait answer doing the shadow dance with myself in cover cover girl oh my god no one will ever know how difficult it was every technician on the set said it couldn't be done and i sweated plenty to prove they were wrong i had to go to the head of the studio to get permission to do that bit in the dance where i threw a garbage can through a large pane of window glass because he thought it was too dangerous to attempt i had to stand only about 10 feet from the glass and he was afraid the shattering glass would hurt me i wanted very much to do that dance just as i had planned it and the greatest thrill of my life was completing it successfully i am going to go find download this music shadow dance or get it from the library or rent it from somewhere and watch it i remember the scene when i was many moons ago when i was a kid watching this right i'm not this old but there was a period where i was really into black and white movies and a lot of dance movies and stuff there's a scene i can't remember if it was gene kelly or who it is that does the dancing in the rain uh, and stuff and i remember this one as well and I'm gonna to try to track this down okay for sure for sure what is your greatest uh, extravagance buying everything in town at Christmas without figuring out where I have any particular person in mind to whom I can give it oops let me show you guys this right this one we just read that one let's read the next one whom would you most like to resemble answer at the age of 10 
I wanted to look like my hero, Douglas Fairbanks. Awesome, Douglas Fairbanks. Fairbanks Sr. But I'm afraid the die is cast and it's too late for me to look like anyone but myself. Who was your very first love? A mongrel dog that followed me home and stayed until he died. Ah, oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. What don't you like about yourself on the screen? I could write a book on the subject. I literally turn green when I see myself do certain things. For example, I like to get rid of my New York twag. I guess that's the accent, maybe? I know what swag is. I don't know what twag is. What is your favorite food? Steak, first of all. And I've got a sweet tooth that's never satisfied. I can eat candy bars till dawn. I can relate to that. I can relate to that. What is your idea of a good time? Going away to a mountain retreat, having some people and books around, and plenty of time to loaf. Awesome, awesome. What, in general, is your philosophy of life? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That rule covers a multitude of actions. And remember, this is, this is the golden rule, right? We've talked about this when we did the sort of a review or talking about skin in the game by Nassim Taleb, right? So he's quoting the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. For me, I like the silver rule better. I think it's more powerful what we talked about and the silver rule is don't do unto others what you do not want done unto you right that way you're remaining passive when you do things to others that you want done unto you you're being intrusive to a certain degree right what do you wish you didn't have to do answer shave i think it would be heaven to go without shaving for weeks awesome gene kelly you could have done it now back then i guess beards were not in and they weren't actually there's a movie out there where i forget who the actor is he's, he's a comedian actor but he played some serious roles as well and he worked in a bank i believe uh, and on his vacation he grew a beard i forget what the movie's called wow if you guys know please post the comment he grew a beard on vacation and uh, he came back and he wouldn't shave it off and everyone was looking at him all wacko and there was a huge controversy okay what is your favorite costume around the house answer t-shirt slacks and uh moccasins the the nice part about not being a great lover type is that one doesn't have to live up to a reputation i can knock about in old clothes without anyone being disillusioned awesome do you like to play parlor games i should say i do games are lots more fun for adults than for children indications or charades is my indications i don't know that game or charades is my favorite what was your most embarrassing moment answer in a high school version of Midsummer's Night's Dream, as a Shakespeare play, right? I played bottom, and while doing a little dance, I heard a chuckle go through the audience. My pants had fallen down. Oh, no. What pet name do you and your wife call each other? Jeannie and Sweeney. <laughs> nice. Jean Kelly, Jeannie. And Betsy, Sweeney. The first because it's a... Uh, affectionate form of Jean I call her Sweeney for no other reason than that it rhymes cool what compliment uh, meant most to you answer when Fred Astaire told me I was a great dancer wow 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 and Fred Astaire is one of the other uh, amazing actors from that period and considered to be basically by almost everyone that I know of the greatest dancer 
in film, right? With Gene Kelly a close second, okay? What is your personal recipe uh, for making friends and influencing people? Okay. Answer, I don't know. I never thought about it. Maybe that's it. I just like people and show it. Awesome. This was amazing. Interview with Gene Kelly, right? Interview with Gene Kelly, an exclusive interview with Gene Kelly from a 1950 romance comics called Life Story, issue number 13, okay? That also contains art by Wallace Allen Wood. Wally Wood, one of the greatest comic book artists of all times in the same comic book from the golden age as one of the greatest Hollywood movie dancers of all time. That is bliss. Okay. Fantastic.